Welcome back to... Hanging in there. Hanging in there. Oh, no, that's not how I was going to start. I got to start with my way because it's topical and timely. I was going to say, well, welcome back to committing tons of financial crimes and getting off scot-free because you technically didn't rig an election. <laughs> Have you not heard about that, that the Mueller report came out? Yeah. Politics branch! Yay, another Yay. one. Yay! Gotta have one. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like Politics Branch. Like, comment, and subscribe if you too have committed massive financial crimes and fuck? gotten away with them because oh. the the prosecutor didn't have a mandate to look into your financial crimes. They just had look, looked into potential election crimes. And honestly, we don't know that because we don't actually know what's in the Mueller report uh, as of this recording. It, it could be that there's incredibly damning evidence and he's going to get like impeached and then we're gonna, you know, we could, for all we know, by the time that this airs in like four days, we could have President Pelosi, you know? <laughs> I mean, that that also depends on if they impeach, impeach Pence as well. Uh, well, if it's on election fraud, and that's why they were trying so hard to do it on election fraud, then the presidency has to pass beyond the uh, vice president because it's considered because the election was itself was fraudulent. That means anyone elected through that election process cannot cannot serve as president. Mm. So that's why the Democrats have tried so hard to make it about the election as opposed to the rest of Trump's financial crimes. Because if it was just about his crimes he committed before, oh before the election, like all of his money laundering for, for Russian oligarchs and all that, then then they have to yes. give it to Pence. And that's not what they want. They they want to be the ones in power. They want to have the presidency and they'd rather have it be Pelosi. Which is a damn shame because damn AOC almost got Speaker of the House. Although I think it would have just passed on to the person in the fourth line of succession, which was one of the... Oh, that might... Wow, breaking news here. That might have been a smart strategy on the part of the Democrats. Because uh, if AOC had been elected to Speaker of the House, like... She like, might not be able to serve. She if... might not be able to serve, which then would have put it to the first person in Trump's cabinet, which then we get back into the, the constitutional question of who's actually president because this person did this, this person did this. You know, you know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. That is just a trap. Trap and a half. Uh, you've got one life left. Do you wanna? Do you wanna challenge? Well, no. Let's let's I'll wait do it until after we have to. Yeah, let's let's do it if we have to. This is a tough level. Yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe if you think this is a tough level. Oh, it's it's been nothing but tough level. I already said like com like comment and subscribe. I'm sorry. Like comment and subscribe if if you like to like comment and subscribe. Comment and subscribing. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> if you're tired of our <sighs> pandering. I am just hella loose. You need to you right need now. to take my two things from me. So I'm just gonna give them to you. No, I was going to say me give them to you so that way you have seven because I'm probably going to die out and then we can just jump ahead because you have the, the entire Oh, I've conquered the all the things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you can go ahead and do the castle one more time. Oh, yeah, because you're going to you. effectively pass, pass turn. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Strategizing on the branch. Yep. Live. We're, oh. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> We're so strategic, Amerith. Look, how, look, look at our strategy. Look, look at our... <laughs> <laughs> Pro strategies. We're just so good at video games. All right, challenge me. So I I've got to pow you, right? Or uh, how you, do I? You need... okay. Yeah, go get it. Okay, I need to go get that, and then you need to run into a thing. All right. So you go run into a thing. I got five up, and I'm dead. Yay! Well, you have one more life. Yeah, but you know. Yeah, it's my turn again. It's my turn to die horribly in this castle. But it's fine if I do because. Everything's fine. We've got lots of lives. A bunch of the huts and stuff are going to reset once you hit continue. And everything's going to be fine. We're going to make it through World 6, Amerith. Yeah. The last world in the game. But what about they're, 7 and 8? They're, they're, no, it's, it's 6. This is the special Switch edition of the, of the game. Oh, where there's yeah. just a fuck ton of levels in, in level. World 6 for some reason. I don't think it's even worth it to go for the yeah, mushroom. Yeah, I don't think it's... I agree. Fucking ghosts and so many spinny balls. Ugh. Of death. Spinning balls of doom. I just got that ball. I took that ball straight to the face. Right to the face. <sighs> oh man, John. I don't know if I can hang in there this whole episode. <laughs> I've only got my, five more minutes. My stomach is doing really bad. Things. Oh, oh my. We have to pause the episode. It's it's possible. Or god damn it. Or maybe we just make this the the John the Branch solo episode. 
mm. for the rest of the five minutes. Hopefully not, but I, I'll see if I can hang in there. It's just... Ooh, it's not good. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming hard. And the problem is, like, it's not even, like, a lot. It's just, like... Yeah, it's that it's that liquid poop every now and then. Uh, I'm not going to go all the way. You can get that mushroom hut. This this back back the ways. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Oh, we we have a realtor that's, who's listing our house. So that's cool. I, I mean, I, he will list our house when when it's in proper condition. Hey, hey, hey! Here's the real like, comment, and subscribe. Ignore all the other like, comments, comments, and subscribes. Uh, if you've ever like had that thing where someone is like having you sign a bunch of paperwork, and then suddenly there's like this monetary transaction built into it, and you're like, uh. Because there's this broker fee in our contract that's an extra like 500 bucks that was kind of like, I don't Sun. know what this is. Like, what am I actually paying? Like, it's going to our realtor's broker. So I'm not sure if it's an illegitimate thing. Like, I don't have any clue what the legitimacy of this, this brokerage fee is. Because like, you're already getting my 3% and the broker is getting 30% of that 3%. What mushroom house were you talking about? I don't, it's not accessible, so don't worry about it. Okay. So yeah, now I'm just like, uh, I mean, I'm getting a good realtor, so I'm okay to pay that extra $500 to him. But also like, this feels like last second sprung on me while I was doing all the other paperwork to pay for him. And I didn't really like have a person to consult with and that's what feels a little bad about it. Because otherwise, this guy is basically a fiduciary to me, right? He's trying to sell uh -huh. the house for top dollar. He's trying to sell the house for as much as he can because he gets paid a, per uh, a commission. So He, he like, gets a percentage of what? Yeah, so when, like, when we get this extra few hundred bucks that's not part of that commission, that's where I get kind of concerned. But, like, once again, like... He's probably going to get that extra $500 just off of being a good realtor. So, but but also I really wish I'd had like a friend who was also a realtor that could have told me like, oh, this is bullshit. You can tell him just to waive that, you know, like I, mean, I didn't know what my negotiating power at that moment was. And that was the frustration. Well, I mean, we could ask my brother. Well, your brother does realty? Yes. For whatever reason now. Oh, what? Why? It's like such a hard job. Like not to be mean. I guess your brother always has been a hard worker. He just hasn't been the nicest, the nicest sibling to or or son or just family member in general. But um, yeah, we could ask him. Yeah. If he would respond. Hopefully. I mean, we also have our friend Tammy, who's a realtor, who was going to be our realtor, but then like suddenly changed Different opportunities, changed arose. positions within the realty company she works at. Oh, oh. Sorry, that conveyor really screws with your momentum. Yeah, a lot. Oh, yeah. Not even a little, just a lot. All right. Well, let's keep plugging away. Maybe we'll be through... I wanted to be world through World 6 by the end of the session, but uh, I think this is the last Fuck. episode. <laughs> is, it, is it hard to play and, and hold in the liquid poops? Like, my stomach is just like... And then you're going to go to the bathroom and it's going to just be a tiny bit. And it's just going to be like nothing. And it's yeah. like, why? Well, it's because your stomach is trying to like purge everything in it repeatedly to get any trace of virus or not virus or bacteria out of it. So it's just like, it's it's kind of a purge mode. It's, it's, I know, it's a it's cleanse. Like... Your body's on a self-inflicted cleanse. But it's like... You don't need to do it that often, stomach. Like, calm the fuck down. Yeah, yeah. You can do this every hour instead of every half hour. Like, it, it'll be fine, I swear. Like, if we could just, like, chill us out by, like, half, that would be great. <laughs> Especially because you're... Oh, you get so sore. Your butthole just becomes the sorest point of your body that's ever I think ever you have to jump, jump over him and not... I know, I think so too, but... <sighs> it's the... It's the... How do I... Ugh... Like, just, you tap it, and then it ignores all rules of momentum for the game. You're just... You suddenly just, are full momentum Yeah, you're again. just full speed going right. Okay, one more attempt, and then and then that's it for, the, for, I think for this. So. Unless yeah. I die immediately. And, and then and then we'll be we'll be past this at the, the next episode, or maybe this is just where we give up. Maybe this is the end of our, of our adventures. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out. You know what? No. You know what? No. Like. No, don't even like... Or subscribe. Just comment if you want us to continue the series if you after want us this to, episode. To stick it out. Yeah, if you want us to stick it out and get all the way through World Eight, are you gonna try to 
Go for the, oh, oh, okay. So if you're patient enough, you can easily get that. And now you can just power through that thwomp if you have to. I think so, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah, and I mean, you can try, and now there's no pressure because it's like, well, the worst case is your, your mini Mario. Okay, your mini Mario. Now you just have to not die at the next three obstacles and then fight the boom boom at the end. You know, easy stuff. Just normal world just six normal, stuff. Just, just world six things with lots of horrible physics. Of course it shows up right in the spot that I'm jumping to. Next time on the branch.